You're watching a 360 video. If you're using a cell phone, move it around to see your environment. If you're on a computer, click and drag in the viewer window to move the camera around. Hello, I'm Megan Remark, President of Regents Hospital. We are proud to be a valued partner and trusted healthcare provider in our community. And you may know that Regents Hospital is the only level one adult and pediatric trauma and burn center in the East Metro and Western Wisconsin. In fact, we're the largest provider of emergency care and mental health care in our market. And the number of patients we serve in our emergency center has grown nearly five-fold in the last 10 years. And we predict steady growth well into the future. Regents Hospital and our donors and supporters, our physicians and our employees are ready to embrace this growth and meet the needs of our community through the expansion of our emergency center and our mental health facilities. As you know, meeting in person is limited right now. And that's why our foundation has created this unique interactive video. It features a scenario of the high quality care everyone can expect to receive here at Regents Hospital. So we invite you to sit back and experience our hospital from the comfort of your home or office. You will see our team respond quickly to save a stroke patient and you will learn more about why we need your help to expand our emergency center and our mental health facility. On behalf of the Regents Hospital team and our foundation, we look forward to partnering with you on the Regents Response First campaign. Thank you for all your support. Stan Anderson woke at 6.30 a.m. in his home. His wife still asleep. He went into the kitchen, ground some coffee beans, started the machine, and then yawned deeply. As he exhaled, he felt a shiver. Stan turned and collapsed. At 6.45, his wife, smelling coffee, got up and found him on the floor. She saw his face had drooped and he was incoherent. Marion calls 911. Here, we see the paramedic is talking to the region's call center, alerting them of Stan's condition. Stan has a faint memory of this interaction. What Stan doesn't know is that a specialized emergency stroke team is assembling at Regions. Every second matters. Stan's brain is not getting the blood flow it needs. Due to Stan's urgent need, he bypasses the admittance room and is directly sent to the specialized stroke team who are preparing for his assessment. Contrary to movie portrayals, the ER is often calm and orderly, even when time is of the essence. The paramedics transfer Stan from their care to the care of the emergency team. Within two minutes, the team has taken Stan's vitals, drawn blood, and conducted a full assessment to determine the severity of his condition. As you move your phone or mouse around, you will see team members including paramedics, pharmacologists, an attending physician, and additional emergency center staff, including a coordinator, two nurses, and two technicians. The leading attendant makes a decision to order a CT scan to identify the exact location of the clot. Stan is wheeled into the CT room. As you look around, you see additional team members working together to make each transfer look seamless. The test results are immediate. The clot has been located and Stan is sent for a clot busting procedure. Stan is just one of the 550 stroke patients Regent sees annually. Due to the swift assessments by Regent's emergency team, Stan had a successful procedure and an amazing recovery. Hello, I'm Dr. Kurt Eisenberger, Medical Director of the Emergency Center here at Regent's Hospital. Over 90,000 people of all ages and socioeconomic statuses are treated in our emergency center annually, and the number is projected to grow each year. Another interesting fact is that of the patients receiving inpatient mental health care at Regions, 90% first come to us through the ER. Several years ago, Regions Hospital had the foresight to create shelled spaces for our emergency center and mental health facilities. Now is the time to build those out. Here's a look at a rendering of the completed emergency center expansion pod. 
Remember to move your phone or mouse around so you can see the entire space. In this expanded pod, we will add 13 patient care rooms, giving us the capacity to treat another 10,000 patients each year. Four of these rooms will be state-of-the-art trauma and medical resuscitation rooms, and several of the rooms will feature enhanced safety measures to accommodate mental health patients. Here's a look at a new resuscitation room. Large monitors will enable the entire care team to easily see the patient's vital signs, including a live video feed of the patient's airway for placing breathing tubes. If you look toward the ceiling, you'll find lifts to help us move patients safely and to protect our staff from injury. Each patient room will have an iPad dedicated to video interpretive services to easily communicate important health history and care information in the patient's preferred language. In addition to the added rooms, we'll bring imaging services inside the footprint of the emergency center which expedites transit times for x-rays and CT scans for critically ill patients. We are making significant updates to our triage center, family rooms, and an additional bereavement space for families to mourn the loss of a loved one in private. These updates will help us to continue our mission of being the provider of choice for emergency care. Now, I'm pleased to introduce my colleague, Sarah Cassell, to discuss exciting opportunities to expand the care of our mental health patient population. Hi, I'm Sarah Cassell, Director of Inpatient Mental Health Services and Daybridge at Regents Hospital. This past year has challenged our mental health in ways we never expected. Navigating a global pandemic and civil unrest have taken a toll on all of us. We saw a significant spike in mental health challenges among our Black, Indigenous, and people of color who were already struggling with historic levels of mental health needs. In 2012, with the support of donors like you, Regents Hospital began building a new mental health facility for our community right here on the Regents campus. We have cared for over 37,000 mental health patients since then. But our volumes continue to grow. We are 95 to 100% capacity every day. On average, a patient experiencing mental health crisis will stay in our facility seven to 10 days. The time is now to expand our capacity to treat more patients by completing the build out of our shelled space within the mental health facility. This build out will add 20 inpatient beds, allowing us to care for 600 additional patients a year. In our new space, you can see the common space for patients to gather. Here is the open area. Patients can relax, spend time together, and watch TV or exercise. Having this open access emphasizes our care model of providing a healthy and healing environment. Here is our common dining area. When there is not a pandemic at hand, we encourage patients to dine together as part of their healing process. Other rooms for specialized patient care include a comfort room where patients can have alone time to meditate or listen to music. We will also have designated activity room which offers progressive sensory interventions like group meetings, art classes, music and aromatherapy, and exercise classes. Let's now look at a patient room. These private patient rooms have personal bathrooms, natural light, and the option to listen to music via the overhead sound system if they choose. Lastly, we're adding a partitioned unit to minimize the spread of viral infections like COVID-19. Our care team is looking forward to providing more patient care once this floor is completed. Regions is a destination hospital a hospital of choice for patients seeking exceptional care in a wide range of specialties. In everything we do, we champion excellence in care, equity in care, and a commitment to the community's health and well-being. Join us in supporting this much-needed resource for the community and help make the Regions Response First campaign a success. The community counts on Regions, and Regions counts on you. Thank you for your support.